And welcome back to Live Now from Fox. You did see earlier we've been covering this Osceola County fire in Florida. A massive fire you can actually see behind the gentleman talking here, but crews are giving an update. I want to dip into that real quick and get the latest on that massive fire in Osceola County, Florida. Take a listen. Uh, currently, those those are still on fire. We've we've set up a ladder truck and several ground monitors uh, to attack the fire. We've slowed the forward progress of that fire, but due to the area uh, that it's consuming and the product, uh, it's just given us a lot of challenges. So that's why you'll see the the large fire and the the uh, column of smoke. We've requested the Orange County hazmat team as well as the Osceola County hazmat team that is operating with them and they're doing air monitoring uh, downrange from the fire and currently we've got remote monitoring set up and we're not getting any um, any uh, signal that would cause us to, to call for an evacuation. Um, that could change. Uh, we've got Osceola County Emergency Management that is here with us and if there is an evacuation that would be called for, it would be mainly due to the, the smoke and carbon monoxide off of that fire. Um, right now, we've got two alarms worth of equipment that's operating and there have been no firefighter injuries, no civilian injuries as of yet. We do not know what the cause of the fire is. Uh, that'll be under investigation as soon as we get the fire under control. Do we know if these plants were empty? Is there anything in them? No, there was nothing in the, the pots. Uh, they're plastic, and then they're plastic wrapped, and they're stacked about 10 foot tall on those pallets. And there are hundreds of those pallets, and that's that's the, the root of the issue. Yeah, we just uh, took the press conference live in our broadcast. Can you recap how these plastic planters are contributing to just the exasperation of this fire? Uh, just the volume of them. There are thousands of these um, plants or, or pots that a plant would go in. And there are about two gallons in, uh, in capacity. And there are thousands of those on these pallets. Everything is outside. And uh, the focus is to keep it out of the building that it's uh, in close proximity to. Have an estimation of how long it could take to knock down such a significant fire at this point? How long it could take? I would say probably the next couple of hours we'll have it under control. Um, it's getting to that point now, and we've got approximately 4,500 gallons a minute that we're operating with. Uh, the, the water system is, has been great, so we are hoping for a good outcome. There are about 75 firefighters working right now. Between uh, Orange County and Osceola County? Orange County, Osceola County, and Kissimmee firefighters are operating. I know we're monitoring the air. We are monitoring the air. The Orange County Hazmat Team and the Osceola Hazmat Team are working together to monitor the air to make everyone safe. These pods, when you put them out, uh, you're using water only. Uh, you we are using water and we will be using foam as well. If you're a resident that's living close to here, especially anyone with any any breathing issues, um, I would stay inside and um, just stay out of the the smoke plume. Uh, right now, it's rising up due to the heat, and we're not getting any any. Uh, any readings that would concern us, uh, but we do have the remote equipment out there, and once that smoke settles down, if we have anything that would concern us, that equipment would pick it up, and then we would alert the residents. Our reporter, who's a little bit closer, said she heard a bang right before she started doing the conference. Do you have any idea about what may have happened? There were some propane tanks. Uh, there, it's a, a large yard where there are forklifts, and we have secured many of those tanks, but I believe it was one of those tanks that uh, you heard. Anytime there's a, a flammable tank um, that, that is close proximity to that fire, we try to remove what we can, but I, I think there was probably one in there that we did not know about, and that's what you heard. Just to 
confirm uh, no injuries to any fire uh, crews or anything like that. Uh, no one needed to be transported. Smoke inhalation or anything of that effect? No, there have been no injuries to firefighters, no injuries to civilians. Uh, we're working closely with the power company, Toho Water, and other partner agencies to bring it under control. Oh no, it's it's plastic. So obviously the carbon monoxide and, and other toxins we're monitoring for that would, would come off of that plastic component. Are y'all gonna tell you to I'm sorry? What about all these Right now we've got hose on the ground and we would prefer that they not leave um, until we get the fire under control because we need that, that constant water supply. And right now we, uh, we are good on the water supply, but I'm not willing to shut down any of the lines yet. And if you're just joining us, we were listening in there to an update from officials on the ground at a fire in Osceola County, Florida. Now, uh, the, they were just speaking there. You saw the gentleman. He said that there are 75 firefighters on scene there trying to battle this blaze. And you can see the shot on your screen there through those trees. As you can see, those streams of water hitting those flames, causing a lot of smoke in the air. This is a, a pretty wild situation, especially when you look at the amount of smoke that is going in the air. Um, it is pretty substantial. And so he mentioned in that press conference there that plastic is still burning. There's a number of plastic containers there that are on fire, causing this black smoke. And they're monitoring specifically for carbon monoxide. That is one of the byproducts that happens from this plastic burning. But they're also uh, keeping an eye on other toxins as well in the air. Um, so they're still working to get this fire under control. They did mention that. You can see it right there on your screen as they continue to battle this blaze. So we'll stay on top of this situation for you and get the latest details as they become available. But I do want to take another quick commercial break and we'll get right back into breaking news and the top stories from all around the country and the world right here on Live Now from Fox.